Hello guys, welcome back to the Hitchcock Take over here on Beyond the Realms, and today I'm going to be reviewing one of his classic films from 1959 entitled North by Northwest. Now, this movie tells the story of Richard Thornhill, played by Cary Grant, who is an advertising executive who, um, there are, there's this uh, group of foreign spies who... Uh, mis give him a mistaken identity and think he is this guy named, uh, what is it here, George Kaplan. Well, um, of course he is not George Kaplan, and they try to off him unsuccessfully, of course. And then eventually um, there's this guy named uh, Townsend that he meets up with and is murdered right in front of him. And the way it happens, uh, Roger becomes the prime suspect uh, for the murder. There's a picture taken. It's thrown all over newspapers across the country. So Roger has to set out um, to try to uh, figure out exactly what happened um, to uh, clear his name and to figure out what exactly is going on with these foreign spies. Um, <clears throat> this is a very ambitious film for Hitchcock. Uh, it was a very uh, mainstream film for him, and you know I guess you could call this like his epic film. Um, you know it just it, it it goes to several different locations, and um, you know of course the cover here really says a lot because there's a lot to do with Mount Rushmore. Of course you have this crop dusting scene which is infamous, and um, just a lot of other scenes in this. Um, it's a very uh, intricate, layered plot, which, you know, Hitchcock always usually did. Cary Grant really does great in this role. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the last film that he did with Hitchcock. And, um, you know, he is really good in this role. I mean, he's just like a, um, <clears throat> just a laid-back, uh, charismatic, suave-type character in this. Um, you know, there's some comedy elements, there's some lighthearted elements, um, but it's a pretty serious story also, you know, but it, do, it never gets um, too dark or, you know, so complicated that you're, you know, you're lost as to what's going on. You know, it's a really good balance of everything, I think, for Hitchcock in this film, and I think that's the reason why so many people talk about this film still to this day, and it's one of his more highly recommended films to check out. Uh, now, of course, when you talk about this crop dusting scene here, now going into this, I didn't know anything about it. You know, I, I've, I've seen this shot, uh, and I've seen, you know, a video of Cary Grant running and the crop duster coming up behind him. And, you know, I'm not going to spoil it for you what happens in this because it just works best you know, only knowing that going into it, because this scene is really, really cool how it plays out. Um, you know, it's all in a wide open field of northern Indiana, and, um, <clears throat> you know, just where it ends up going is pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. Uh, it goes, it, it almost gets to the point where it goes a little over the top, but, you know, Hitchcock just, he pulls it off. He does it exceptionally well. It really works. And, um, you know, elsewhere in the cast, uh, you have, like, his sidekick. Um, her name is Eve. I'm trying to see what her name is here. Uh, Eva Marie Saint plays Eve Kendall. And, um, you know, she's a complex character also because, you know, uh, you think she's on his side, then you kind of question it, and um, you know it goes through a lot of uh, different variations, you know, of emotions of how you feel about this character. And uh, I thought Eva did really good at this. And then you know, like the head bad guy uh, spy Philip Van Dam, played by James Mason, um, he's great too. You know, uh, he pops up different at different spots throughout the film, and um, you know, he does really good in this, but, uh, you know, guys, I, I, I really like this film a lot, but it wasn't one that totally blew me away like some of these other films did. Um, now, I will go as far as to say, like, you know, everything that Hitchcock, you know, did in other films previous to this, 
you know, like uh, the 39 steps, which, you know, I keep referencing a lot because I like it so much, but this is similar, you know, it, it has that premise once again, where it's an innocent guy on the run trying to prove his innocence. Um, but everything Hitchcock had tried to do previously, he like perfected it in this film, I believe. And I think that that's you know, why it's considered so great, because he really perfected all those elements in this. Um, you know, and the Blu-ray looks fantastic. You know, this is the, the nice digi Digibook edition. Um, it's a very, very good Blu-ray. Um, I highly recommend it on the picture quality alone, but the film itself is really, really good, guys. Uh, but I think it's a film that, <clears throat> you know, I personally need to see again. You know, um, I'm not that not well versed in it at all because actually this is my first time watching it. I just got done watching it like ten minutes ago, um, and I'm sure my opinion would change on this over time. But as of right now, I liked it, but wasn't blown away. Um, I'm going to give North by Northwest an eight out of ten, but I, I highly recommend checking it out, guys, because it's thoroughly entertaining and, it, and you know it just goes all over the place. It's got you know, um, you know stuff on plane or uh, uh, trains. It has, of course, Mount Rushmore. <clears throat> it has the, like I said, this this crop dusting uh, shot. It has a romantic um, uh, element to it with uh, Eve and Roger. Um, you have the spies in it, and you know there's just a lot of twists and turns that go throughout the film. And um, it's a pretty long one, too, guys. I think this is like, what, two hours and 15 minutes long, um, which is one of the longer Hitchcock films, you know. But it's throughout thoroughly entertaining. There's never a boring moment in this. You know, there, there might have been a few parts um, <clears throat> where it seemed like it may have started to get lacking just a little bit, like a little dragging. But just when it starts to hit those points... You know, Hitchcock takes the story into a different direction where it just always stays entertaining and keeps you, you know, engrossed in what's going on. So, um, yeah, guys, that is North by Northwest. Um, so, yeah, I highly recommend checking it out, guys. I hope you all are having a good one. Take care. Later.